And one of the other cities reaping rewards is, of course, Birmingham, with the Jamaican and American athletics teams staying in the city. The City Council estimates the economic benefits will be around £15 million thanks to increased visitor numbers and media from all over the world. Well, today the athletes turned out in force for an open training session at the University of Birmingham. But as Nick Clitheroe reports, Usain Bolt, the most famous face of the 2012 Games, was missing. The sun shone, the crowd were having fun, there were very fast Jamaicans on the track. Only one problem, none of them were the world's fastest man, Usain Bolt. Well, there are plenty of big stars here, like relay gold medalist Michael Freiter, but for the, the big media contingent and, of course, the massive crowd, real disappointment is, where's the world's fastest man? I know the schedules are quite tight, but, yeah, that was a little bit of a disappointment. I think everybody came to see more than anything else. My heart is broken. I can't wait. I'll have to go to Madame Toussaint. I wanted to see him, but can't have everything, I suppose. <laughs> but it was good, though. You saying Bolt is a big man. You know, you might see a set of better chance of seeing the Prime Minister of England than you saying Bolt, really. I don't know why he didn't come, but what we're happy about is that our athletes, the rest of the athletes, were there. And it's Jamaica. You say represent Jamaica, Michael, Navli, myself. And I'm sure we're there on behalf of you saying also. So the mass ranks of the world's media didn't get the pictures they were really hoping for. But despite the disappointment of Bolt's no-show, the welcome for the Jamaicans was as warm as the weather. The athletes seemed almost overwhelmed by their reception in the city. Believe you me, the athletes have said it, and we have said it. We have travelled all over the world, and it's the best preparation in terms of a camp, in terms of including the meals, support person, the facilities, and the people of Birmingham. We could never have made a better choice. It's been a, a, a fun experience being there and having great food and great hosts and great volunteers, so it's just been a good, a good vibes coming in. If you're starting to wonder whether Bolt really is in Birmingham, well, he's been tweeting pictures of himself at the track. And even though the fastest man was missing from it today, there was plenty to enjoy and plenty of spectators there for a party. Nick Clitheroe, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. And we're joined now by David Moorcroft, the former Commonwealth and European 5,000 metres champion, born in Coventry and now chairing West Midlands for 2012, the organisation helping to get schools, councils and businesses involved in the Games. Today he was given a Good Citizen Award to a standing ovation at Coventry City Council meeting. Congratulations, David. Heady Thank times, you. eh? Very Where's much, Usain sir? Bolt? He's preparing for the Olympic Games. He was at. Uh, <laughs> he was. Um, it, it, the, the, it was a great day today for the, the youngsters, and obviously the Jamaican team is full of incredible talent. But it is just, it's a shame that Usain didn't come out. I know the university and, and Birmingham City Council would have done everything they could. But I guess as far as Bolt's concerned, his, his preoccupation is making sure he's right for the games. But mm. it, it is. It, it is. is unfortunate. Of all people, that yeah, people yeah. were turning up to see today, yeah. he was the one, wasn't he? Yeah. You have a sort of. You feel a bit of a social responsibility, a moral responsibility, to inspire kids. Yeah, no, I do, and, I, and it is a real shame. I, I, and I'm going to try and put the other side because I know that in the final few weeks, the British athletics team go away to Portugal, and it's kind of quite secretive, not with a huge amount of press. But but the Jamaicans and the Americans have been terrific so far. They were great last night at an event at Birmingham University, and it would have been lovely if the children had seen you say. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the economic side of it. All this hard work really paying off, isn't it? I think so. I mean, I think you know tomorrow's wonderful that that we kick off with football at the City of Coventry Stadium, the opening ceremony on um, on Friday, the Olympic torch having been made in our region. As you said, nearly 400 companies have won contracts, and at a time when our economy really needs it, the West Midlands economy, I think it's a huge boost, and it's not just a, a sudden, you know, an immediate impact, a one-off hit. I think hopefully the reputation of those companies will go on so that at future games they're going to be you know, really well positioned to take advantage of the reputation that is enhanced by the fact they've been Olympic suppliers. And I think it's one of the good news stories of the West Midlands 2012 programme. Yeah, what about you personally? I mean, you've run, I think, three Olympics, haven't you? You've been a world record holder, and now you're getting ready for a new Olympic Games in a completely different position. How, how does that actually feel? I mean, are you more nervous now than you were as a competitor? Um, I'm, I'm working for Canadian television during the game, so I'm commentating for Canada, and I'm nervous that I won't know all the Canadian athletes and things like that. <laughs> but it, I've been involved in the games through when, when, when the bid was made through UK Athletics in the past few years with the West Midlands and Coventry through business, sport, culture, the schools, and actually it's been a massive privilege. And I'll be delighted to be watching the likes of of 
Mo Farah and Jessica Ennis do the business, but really proud of the fact that I think in this, in this region, so many people have embraced the games in so many different ways. You know, the, the, the torch was just a magical moment in time for our region, and it's been great. And, you know, congratulations to Birmingham City Council on getting Jamaica and, and the USA here. That was a great, great result. Great coup, wasn't it? David, thanks very much indeed. It's a pleasure, thank, thank you. you. And uh, we'll be returning to the Olympics later in the programme, previewing the football in Coventry taking place tomorrow night, the first Olympic event in England. Coming up later in the programme.